Justin Gomez, and I think this is uh, number six or number five of the series. Uh, it's been a while since I did the last one. Uh, so today, as I promised in the last one, we're going to create a new method, and uh, we're just going to check the availability of the of the of the ad. And I'm actually actually don't think I'm going to implement the availability. I'm just going to show you how to do it, uh, how to create a new method and uh, return some sort of uh, response back. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, I'm going to go in here where it says public init evoke. It's again it's part of the newer lo loader.java. And I'm just going to create a new wrapper here. And I don't know why it's giving me. That's not behaving. So, new. And I'm going to say is available wrapper. Then a comma. It's going to complain right away because this is available wrapper uh, isn't resolvable right now. And I'm going to go down here and find one of these uh, fancy wrappers that they have. Uh, it's usually at the very, very bottom. And you see right here it has an init wrapper. And I'm going to just, uh, just copy and paste one of these. I guess I'll pick the one at the bottom. And I pasted it, and uh, it's going to be is available wrapper. And it's available. Then I change these two methods. One is to get the name, and the other one is when you invoke it, the function. So. is available. And again, this throws an error here because this particular function, the invoke function, um, doesn't exist. So it was throw an error. So uh, I guess we, so then I'm going to find that method up here, the actual implementation of show. Or and again, I'm just copying and pasting it. And I'm going to rename it as available. Okay. Um, and so you're going to pass is available in here. Um, I'm going to I'm going to do the same check that they did here if null equals, if word equals no. And you see, this is what I talked to you before. This, the stack comes in and it has uh, this one in there. So they're checking if the word is null. Uh, and then they make it a uh, banner. I don't even need that activity. I'm just going to wipe it out, leave it blank. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push to the stack. And I'm going to push a true. That would quote. And then to return, I'm going to tell it to return one. And this will return the first item in the stack, which in this case, it won't be the word anymore because uh, I just pushed a new item into the stack. And so it will be true, the value true. So let's go back to Lua. And uh, for now, I'm going to comment. I'm going to need the miss. No, I don't even need the listener. I'm going to comment all this out.
and uh, I'm just going to print that function. Is it true? And if this worked out, then it should return a true state. And I'll probably cut this as I, uh, if I so we're back. It launched. It's not site showing any ads. Um, but if you see here uh, in the in the log cat uh, you see that it returned true and again this is a sort of a short video to paraphrase we created a new function or method and it's called is available uh, I created I, I just pushed a boolean into the stack and then I turn and and then at the end of the function I told it to return the top of the stack, which was true because I pushed it pushed the true onto it. And then on the newest side I printed the result of the is available call. Again, I hope this is useful. Um, I think this is gonna be the last in the series because uh, I've shown you most of the patterns that you could do basically accept a table accept uh, individual items into a function into a java method and, um, and that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed the series um, i might uh, continue building this plugin to use it internally for myself for amazon builds um, but i have plans for other video so keep on look out for other videos I plan to do. Uh, thank you for watching.